So Brandon's cutting up our bait here. This is a carp that I caught the weekend before. We got a freshwater drum there. And this is what we're gonna be fishing. So this is the Brazos River, which I believe is the largest river in Texas. Some muddy water, but we're gonna try to fish this slack water and see if we can hook up on an alligator gar. All right. Well, let me show you what I got here. This is a massive hunk of carp that I cut off of uh, a nice common carp, which I caught last weekend. You can uh, back up a couple videos if you wanna see that. And what I've got going on here is a huge treble hook. I really had no idea um, what to rig, how to rig. There's so many options out there. It's just overwhelming. I mean, I've never done this before. I really don't know what kind of gear to use. So I'm going big with a big piece of bait, a big treble hook. This is some cheap Chinese wire lure that I got. Um, and then I've got 80 pound braid on here. And this is a slip float, um, which is not gonna suspend the bait in the water at all. The only reason I put that on there is just so I can see if by chance a gar or something takes it, I'll be able to see where in the water he is, if he's running upstream, downstream, if he stopped, etc. So I'm gonna try to get this massive piece of carp hooked on this treble hook here, which is actually easier said than done. It's freaking scales. So hopefully that'll stay on. So here we go. So what's going on here is that um, the river has eroded part of the bank here and it's like this semi-circular indention in the bank and so the current is whipping out there and right here it's causing this eddy where the water is actually circling back and flowing in the upstream direction. So there's some calm water and then there's some current out there and the theory is that the gar will be sitting in the calm water maybe uh, waiting for something to flow by in the current so they can nail it. So um, I really don't have any weight on here maybe that's a bad idea but uh, this thing is pretty heavy it ought to sink. So I'm just gonna lob this sucker out here and um, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, screw this. The current's just dragging it right up against the shore. I need a big weight. Well, these conditions are really tough. The water is just absolutely raging. And so like, I'm having trouble just uh, keeping my bait on the bottom. I really don't have a lot of heavy weights and I generally don't like to fish with them. So I'm gonna see if I can find a place where the water is really, really slack um, and calm so that I can get my bait to just kind of sit on the bottom. Brandon is braver than I am. I don't know if you can see him over there, but he is fishing right under the bridge. And uh, it looks like he's got a good spot too. Uh, same thing, there's some slack water over there, but uh, it also looks like there's a lot of stuff to snag up on. And the reason that I did not want to set up shop there is because I'm worried that some idiot is gonna fling a bottle out of their car window and it's gonna come crashing down at like 60 miles an hour from 30 feet up and kill me. So Brandon's braver than me, um, but he's, he's set up in a good spot too. So I'm watching Brandon over there and what he's doing, he's got a, a big hunk of fish on there too. He's casting out and he's reeling it in. So I'm just letting my bait sit there on the bottom. He's got more experience than me, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe his method is better. I can see in the summertime if the gar were super active and aggressive. Um, I know they hit lures and stuff like that. But uh, the strategy I'm playing right now is to just leave the bait on the bottom and hope that something comes along and scoops it up. So far, nothing. 
It's been probably the better part of an hour and we haven't seen any action yet. Now I see why people bring a case of beer out here when they're fishing. It's a lot of just sitting around. I don't even drink and I could go for a beer right now. Okay, well, we didn't have any luck at the Brazos. Not yet anyway, so try and plan B. I think Brandon just wants to do some off-roading. Couldn't do this in my car. This is fun. I need a truck. Oh, nice. Perfect. Good deal. This is good stuff, man. You got, this, you got it layered perfectly. There was a baby copperhead under this one last time. Oh, rat snake. Nice. That's a beauty. Co baby copperhead. Oh, oh shit. Same snakes. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Nice job. Nice rat. Hey, buddy. So even if we don't catch any fish, this is worth it. Nice little copperhead. Still got the yellow on his tail. That's awesome. Lift this other piece. I got this. Oh, you're all right. Yeah, all right, buddy. Branding. That's it. Catching snakes. <laughs> Why don't you uh, grab that, pick that copperhead up just like that. Just <laughs> Please don't. I did find a copperhead under here. This looks, yeah, very, very copperheady. Yeah. Yep, right? That's the same one. Oh, shit. Look That's at that. the same one. I mean, shoot. Look at that. Damn, I have put my fingers right next to him. <laughs> I mean, right next to him. <laughs> I forget what those. Here, let's um, I'm gonna make a video from today. So let's, can you put him on this stump right here? Yeah, hopefully he doesn't, I remember this one was kind of crazy. It's chilly out though. Yeah. Okay, I thought he was gonna go under the log. All right, well, if nothing else today, I'm happy with that. Beautiful copperhead. Nice. Nice. Big yellow belly water snake. <laughs> Brand's brave. Most people wouldn't grab one of those. <laughs> All right. Well, we fished the mighty Brazos for a while. Didn't get any bites. So we came over here to this, like, uh, it's basically a flooded roadside ditch, but it's a nice, uh, decent, permanent body of water. Looks a little bit challenging. There's a lot of down trees and stuff. Uh, a lot of vegetation to get snagged on. So I'm gonna try this floating jerk bait. See what happens. Bummer that wasn't on camera, but just uh, toss this thing strategically between some weeds. Got a nice little large mouth here. First fish of the day. Got a few snakes, but I think this is the first fish. Okay, now nice. Definitely uh, not breaking any records with this guy, but I'll take it. It's a fish. Mouth bass number two. Oh man, ow, 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 ow. This place is so tough to fish, man. So tough to fish. Alright, second large mouth of the day. Adios. This place is extremely challenging to fish. Every cast, I'm just coming back with weeds and occasionally a fish. All right, so my buddy Brandon is freaking out because he lost his wallet. And I just went back over to where we were flipping tin and I found it, but he doesn't know that yet. So I may have some fun with it. Lost his wallet. <laughs> what? Oh 
my god, yes! Thank you. Man. It's true, I am. Let's fish. Alright, well, we had come down to the river earlier, didn't have any luck. Gave it quite a while, no bites whatsoever. So we went off uh, to this little kind of roadside ditch pond type thing. I caught a couple bass there, that was fun, but it was just really challenging. And really what I wanted to do today more than anything was at least try for a monster alligator gar or even a huge catfish out of this Brazos River here. Uh, so my friend Brandon, uh, he got tempted away by uh, snake hunting. He wanted to go flip for some more snakes, which I can totally understand because that is my first and greatest love. So I'm back to the river by myself here. I'm not sure that I'm gonna get anything. I just felt the water, it's freezing cold. Uh, but I, I threw my bait out, a little bit smaller one this time. So that's set out there and I'm gonna toss um, uh, even smaller one still out on my light rod, maybe try for a catfish or something, but probably not gonna hang out that much longer. Uh, it just might be better to wait until the weather warms up in the summer when the gar are really active. So, got nothing else to do today. Still got a few hours of daylight, so let's see what happens. Well, this day might be a bust as far as the alligator gar go. Sometimes it goes that way. But if it wasn't for Brandon, I wouldn't have seen anything today. He had some uh, nice tin spots. So we got two copperheads. We got a Texas rat snake and he flipped a nice yellow bellied water snake. So that was cool. And uh, his little spot on the side of the road up there, I caught a couple of bass there. So thank you, Brandon. Otherwise it would have just been probably a complete bust today. This is my first time. I really wasn't expecting the world, but I was thinking I'd at least get one on the line and lose it. But you know, the river's a little flooded. It's definitely very cold. That might have something to do with it. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's probably got something to do with it. That's fishing. Man, this is really tough. I got the current going all over the place that way this way pulling my bait around underwater I got the wind whipping like 60 miles an hour making my rod so I keep getting all these false alarms and I've just got to trust that if something comes along and takes the bait that I've got on there it's gonna be big and it's gonna make a run like a freight train and my drag will be smoking really hoping that happens I just want one big fish went ahead and decided to recast and now I'm snagged on something down there really snagged so I don't think I have any choice I got to break this there goes all my gear my bait it's probably a freaking tree or something well I just pulled my line in to recast and when I did I got hooked up on something down there, probably a submerged tree or a piece of this granite or something. But I had to break the line and there went my best hook, my best piece of bait, my nice new slip float, all gone. And then I pulled this one in, put a new piece of bait on, gave that a heave out there because I saw another big fish break the water. So I tried to cast out there. The dang bait just went flying off the hook right out to the middle of the river. So, things are starting to go downhill. I think I might have just had a fish. Or the current uh, dislodged this and took this downstream. I've really been having a hell of a time today. Uh, between the current and the wind, I really, I'm just having trouble telling if something's got the bait or if it's just the water pushing it around or what. Um, but uh, I think that's gonna be a wrap. I uh, did not get the monster alligator gar that I was hoping for today, but I still had a great time. It was nice to see Brandon. It's been a while. Caught a couple largemouth bass. Caught some really cool snakes. So it was a good day. And I definitely have a lot to learn when it comes to fishing for alligator gar. So I think I'll let the weather warm up a little bit. I know they're more active when it's warmer. And maybe try a different spot on the river. 
and I really need to learn how to cast that um, that heavy rod long distance. Maybe put a different reel on it or something. Anyways, if you watched this video, thank you very much, and I will see you next time.